We get to Vegas and the plan was to do all the things you can do and one of the things you do with your kids. We went to the pool first and that's when it all happened. 911 emergency. There is a child that I believe may have drowned in the pool. Being in the right place at the right time can make a difference. With the right training, that difference could be life-saving. I would hate to think if I didn't know what to do and it went the other way. It didn't take long after your AED training for you to put it to use. <laughs> exactly 12 days later. You guys ready? Good, you guys, you guys ready? What happened, what happened, buddy? What's going on? Uh, Talk to me. Okay. Hard to breathe, hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. Are you at all? Checking pulse. Hey, call 911, call 911. Just like NFL players and coaches get ready for the season, so do their medical staffs. Every team has an emergency action plan, or EAP and in the off season, conducts rehearsals of lifelike scenarios where they practice steps they will need to execute in the event of a medical emergency. Today, it's the Rams' turn, led by their Vice President of Sports Medicine and Performance, Reggie Scott. This is a great day uh, for all you guys to see how we do things and learn. What's so awesome is how important this, this protocol and rehearsal is. It's always been a very, very a critical piece to what we do. This is the last thing you want to see. Just hope that he's going to be okay. In January, when Bill's safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field, the EAP was put to the test. The positive outcome only reinforced the need for all medical personnel to be ready to deliver an immediate coordinated response. Let's turn hey, one. Let's turn one. Let's get the airway. Right Let's get the AD ready since it gets yep. cut. Oh. One. Two, three, lift. Go ahead and cut right there, guys. Good job. Practice doesn't make perfect, but practice makes you a whole lot better than you were. And if you talk to anyone that was involved in the situation last year with DeMar Hamlin, they will all tell you they were way more comfortable given the amount of practice they put in. We bring a third party in to oversee this practice to make sure it's not just a, a layup or a token response. That third party, sports medicine concepts, designed simulations based on scenarios identified by the NFL and NFLPA as being most life-threatening to NFL players. Yep, he's seasoned, but he's here with us. They range from cardiac arrest to head and spine trauma to heat illness and other orthopedic and medical emergencies. What is it about what the third party group does that makes it so realistic? Well, number one, I think they got the equipment to bring it to life. They got, you know, a, a mannequin simulator that actually can measure what our compressions were on CPR. You can look at all of our vitals and, and really see how well and how quickly we got to our vitals. You can see when we intubate how well the airway is when we're trying to maintain breathing. When 80,000 people are watching what's going on, that is emotional. In those instances, your mind will fail you. That's where our expertise comes in. And building the simulations around those scenarios. What happened? I can't move. You can't move? Can't, can't move. move. Okay, can't move. Cut these pads. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's with us. How do you guys think that process went? I felt like we probably could have had a little more space and took our time. Let's try to get the shoulder pads off a little better. Let's try to get a little better environment. The focus on emergency preparedness has even extended beyond the medical personnel. This off-season, the Rams coaching staff was offered CPR and AED training. And for defensive coordinator Raheem Morris, it was unexpectedly life-changing. On uh, Memorial Day weekend in Vegas, uh, and that's when it all happened. Morris and his family were on vacation. He saw a young child, three-year-old Wyatt Stanley, unresponsive and fighting for his life. Young Wyatt was underwater for some time. I saw his father at the time I know now, carrying him out of the pool. Uh, puts the young man down at the foot of the lifeguard stand, and he's blue. He's uh, has no oxygen. He's not breathing at all. And I was able to run over there, assess the situation. I saw people calling 911. First step. 911 emergency. They pulled a the kid out. I don't know if their response is. So the lifeguard attendant over top. I'm really clearing the area and about to start compressions. And I just looked at her and yelled, where's the AD machine? And she was able to tell me the front desk. Um, that allowed me to sprint to as quickly as I can to the, the front desk and grab the AD. 
An AED, or Automated External Defibrillator, is a portable life-saving device that can analyze heart rhythm in someone experiencing sudden cardiac arrest, and when necessary, deliver an electrical shock to restore normal rhythm. And able to sprint back to the scene, and when I arrived, there was a doctor on site. Hand them the, the AD machine, we're able to apply the pads um, to young Wyatt. Stay clear of patient. And then the machine just started to talk and Deliver shock now. And it was really a, a real eerie silence. Wyatt begins to cough when we get him on the gurney, and it was a sigh of relief for all of us. A Los Angeles Rams coach recently helped save a drowning child. It's very possible that that sweet little three-year-old would have died had it not been for Coach Raheem Morris and a doctor who were at the right place at the right time with the right training. Two weeks later, the young boy who almost drowned met the coach who helped save his life. What's going on? You want to give him a hug? <laughs> you give him a hug? <laughs> when you get a chance to watch him just being normal and to watch him interact with his siblings and just seeing those guys all being in a safe space in a comfortable environment at our facility was, uh, it was, it was great. Why do you think it's important for everyone to be educated in CPR and AED training? I think it's just, it's just smart to be ready for it. I think it's just helpful for everybody to know what to do, where the machines are, how to be helpful, because it's nothing like feeling helpless in those situations. And if you can be helpful, I know we all like to be.